Hey there folks! Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Blue Q I've Got a Knife Oven Mitt. So here we can see it's made by a company, Blue Q. There's their fun little tag. It's 100% cotton. Uh, you can machine wash it cold. You just want to make sure you do it with light colors. Don't bleach it because then you'll lose all of this lovely pink and yellow highlighting here. You want to dry it, like they say, tumble dry, line dry is fine. It is made in China. So the Blue Q oven mitt is, uh, this is a fun one. I, I got this for my wife, and to be honest, I got it for me too because I like to cook. Because if you're going to be using things in a kitchen, they should express who you are. Especially, I think oven mitts and kitchen towels are a great way to do that. They add a, a bright pop of color. This obviously is a very, very sassy type of thing, and my wife and I are both pretty darn sassy. Personally, I really love the juxtaposition of the sort of ephemeral 1950s housewife here cooking dinner with the statement of I've got a knife. Now, it's not, an impl it's not a threat but it is a pretty strong statement. So I, I like it from the point of view that it makes my wife, it, it reminds me that I gotta be careful when my wife's cooking and she's gotta be careful too. So we'll, so you can see that's the art. You know, on the back side, it's just sort of standard kitchen stuff. So, but see here, the I, the knife is obviously missing. It's a nice little touch and it's it's a really cheeky, cheeky, fun thing. So, one of the things that I noticed about this, and, and you can really kind of see it here, uh, it, it isn't the thickest of oven mitts. Uh, oven mitts, you know, come in all shapes and sizes, different materials, and uh, if you're really afraid of heat, you know, I would recommend using this for quick transfers. So when you want to take something out of the oven and then put it on a heat safe space afterwards, this is really great for it. And the reason why I say that is due to the you know the fact that it's not super thick you can really move your fingers and your thumb it's a lot more dexterous as opposed to the thicker ones where you can kind of only move this much you're relying on the thickness of the mitt to do the, do the gripping this really allows you to see if you kind of look there you can see my fingers poking through it allows you to have a little bit more of a stable grip and surface on it so that's really really nice one of the other great uses for oven mitts, when if you've got multiples, like we do because we like to cook, I like to also use them as impromptu trivets, uh, a place to put something hot on a surface that doesn't necessarily hold up to heat really well. And this is also really good for that because it's nice and flat, the thicker ones can bunch up, and you'll get an uneven surface. This is really good for that. The other benefit of, again, the sort of thinner nature of this is, uh, let's say you've got uh, croutons, dried bread, nuts, something you want to crush. You can just put it in a bag, put it in here, and go over it with your rolling pin so you'll have enough protection from, you know, the, 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 the material that you're trying to crush or grind from jumping out everywhere, but it also won't be insulated by those thicker pads that way. And uh, we like to do that with our croutons. We like to crush them up and make them almost more powdery sometimes. So I'll just put them in a plastic bag, put them in here, and then either take a rolling pin or an, uh, a meat tenderizer or the old standby bottle of wine. Empty bottle of wine is usually easier because you get to drink it first. Uh, and you just can kind of roll it over. And the thinness on this will protect both the surface you're rolling on, the material you're trying to roll and crush, as well as the item that you're using to do that. So what I like about this, I've said, it's a, it's a really cheeky, fun sort of print and statement, and they've got a bunch of them. They've got one that says, drop in a new recipe on your A. I think you can get what, I, what the A implies. The other one is bees get stuff done. I think you can understand what I say by bees. We'll just say it ref a lot of times it's a term used to refer to female dogs. Horny for food, which is, you know, it's the new way people like to express themselves when they really, really like something. So I can't judge on that. 
One of my favorites, Pizza's Here, which has got a really great image of a pizza delivery. The one that I know I need to get my wife next, which is I'm not bossy, I'm the boss. <laughs> and this is effing delicious, although the effing part is fully spelled out in the word. Like I said, they're, uh, this one is, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're well insulated, so it's, it's not thick. You're not relying on the thickness, you're relying on the batting. 100% uh, cotton, so you, you want to be careful when you wash it, just in that sense. it might. That's why you want to wash it cold and, and dry it at a lower temperature, tumble dry it, so you don't get the shrinkage. You know, as I said, we have a bunch of oven mitts. As far as oven mitts go, this is kind of my favorite. Now, you'll notice it doesn't have a lot of wear and tear on it. That's because I do like this one so much, so I try to keep it away from stains or burns. That's one of the things you do face with uh, cotton oven mitts, especially near open flames, is they can get singed. Careful with that, but I've been treating this one really well and uh, washing it when it needs to be washed, not letting stains set in. Let's see. Boy, you know, uh, oh, boom, I totally forgot about one of the best things about it right here. A lot of oven mitts don't really care about your space, they assume that you're gonna have some sort of giant pantry to store all of your kitchen linens in. And that can be a real pain when you need them in a quick spot. So this hanging hook here is great. Uh, it fits a lot of the sort of circular knob style pulls that we have around our house in some places. Or if you just have, you know, a utility hook, something like that, you can sling it right in there you know, and it'll just hang like a stocking on Christmas Day. Guys, I'm gonna tell ya, I'm rating this one. I'm gonna have to go with a five out of five, both for the content of the mitt. Again, that really great dexterity. So if I've got a thin tray of cookies I'm pulling out when I need to make my wife some delicious chocolate chip cookies on a bad day. Okay, they're for me. And just the all around fun attitude of the of the line in general so yeah five out of five stars but you gotta try it for yourself to believe it thanks